taking back what's yours. It's something you hear your conservative uncle scream through Snapchat filters developed by Soviet hacker compounds mining Bitcoin, but what does it really mean? Well, one, if those cash-hungry hippies in Holly Weird ruined your childhood, take it back. Yeah, by making a Star Wars fan film where Thackeray Jar Jar Binks is a Sith Lord in a harem with the Sanderson witches and lady Ghostbusters can't do shit. Not because being a lady makes them inept at busting ghoulies, it's because last I checked, witches and feline Gungan isn't ghosts. And well, on the topic of childhoods, what about parents stealing your childhood by making you do chores and work in their dollar store where they have a spooky basement you can skateboard in? Well, that one is easy as beans. To the kids who can't grow up due to past traumas forcing them to rewatch Secret of the Ooze every single night to lull themselves into a sense of security... Mess your diaper on your parents' grave Pornhub style and leave their headstones a sticky mess from spilled high seed juice box. And if you're Jesus Christ lost in the rat race of a seven-day work week, beat down some noodle and nerd Lazara punk to reclaim a salvage Sunday. But what happens when what's rightfully yours is being used to murder you and your group of YA friends? Well, you stand tall, be a freaking leader, and don't make it racist like your aforementioned conservative uncle does, who still doesn't get the irony behind his taking back what's mine comments posted on social media platforms who are farming his privacy worth an annual $7. But enough of that, though, because my name is James. I'm Nicole. And this is Mostly Mostly Speaking Sentai. <laughs> Guys, my name James. You heard me before. Bitch, if you haven't heard, my name is James. Oh, and I'm shaking it like I have something worth shaking. But guys, today we learned if the signal turns yellow, don't cross the street, Dapu. And uh, I gotta be honest, they keep reusing the same exact safety tips and I'm getting very, very exhausted about it. Because the kids aren't listening the first time. Well, kids, get them friggin' Legos out your ears. I was gonna (laughs) say get the dildos out your ears, but children don't have those around. Guys... Just like a gun, if you have children in your apartment or home even, keep your sex toys locked up safe so your kids don't accidentally tuck in in a bed and then find your mother's vibrator and say, Dads, what's this? And then your dad has to make up some lie. Uh, I I should talk to my dad about that. This is something, guessed that happened in my real life. Traumatizing. And then my sister, I guess, also found it. So, like, it was poorly concealed. Yeah. God damn. They didn't have, like, a nightstand? They did. I guess my mom kept it there. I don't know. That makes no sense. Because, like, everyone knows don't look in the nightstand. Yeah. Because that's where guns and drugs is. No. And also, uh, that's where dildos is. Oh. That's not where my dildos are. They're in a drawer. Yeah, next to the bed. It's a bedside drawer. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's also where my socks are. You can't forget my uh, underwear. And what else? I think it, that's it's those a are, dresser. Yeah, th- those are the only drawers I have. Oh, wait, no, my PJ pants. Speaking of PJ pants, PJ mm-hmm. masks, that's our next series, guys. It's Toku adjacent. No, it's yes, it is. We're going to go see PJ masks live, and it's going to be a fun time. Guest, have you ever seen PJ masks? I have not actually seen any of those. Okay. Currently. Our guest is currently lying to be cool. Um, They were talking up PJ Masks, and I was like, I'm going to stop time clock stopper style and watch a bunch. 
<laughs> Nicole, did, yeah. did you ever see Clock Stoppers? I'm pretty sure you showed some of it to me. No, that's Clock Suckers. Okay. Clock Stoppers was that French Stewart movie. And Chip Pope, our romance, had a bit. Then no. Uh, they had a watch and they could stop time using it. Yeah. And it was a movie. I assumed so much. What would you do if you could stop time? Uh, everything. Dang. Guest, what would you do? Rob a bank. Dang. Man. I'd smell Nicole's head. Okay. Well, jack in it. Pornhub cool. style. Thanks. Oh, man. There's a lot of Japanese porn where they stop time and then they like fashion girls in like a naked pyramid. Mm -hmm. And then they unstop it and the girls are like, whoa. There's also somewhere like they jack spermies and then the. Uh, cool. Yep. I, I'm loving this. They undo Please the tell time. Me more. And the girl's like, oh, why are my panties so mushy? If they had subtitles, I'm guessing that's what they'd say. Guys, let me know. Uh, in Super Sentai and Kamen Rider, you can Google who subs what and it'll pop up. Uh, would someone make that for Japanese porn, please. I think they already do. It's just certain companies. Okay. But fan subs. Like, I want people fan subbing and real subs. I don't know. Have, guess, do you watch pornography? I do. Have almost you ever, daily. Have you ever seen those Japanese game shows where it's like played up as, hey, it's a son and then a mom. And then he like the mom and five other women will put their breasts behind a curtain. And then it's like, which one is your mother's breasts? And then if they guess wrong, they have to impregnate their mom. What kind of porn are you it watching? It was like a huge cool, red so tube thing. so can I thing. leave? Or? Yeah, Nicole, no, we can't leave because we have a huge announcement to make. And if you're still listening after that, people are jacking off right now. They turned it off and cool, said, great. I got to check this out. But we have to introduce our guest first. Guys, if you've ever seen one of our live streams and been in the chat, we know some of you guys are just lurking. Please get in the chat but if you've ever seen any of our live streams, you've been hearing us shout this person out for months. And she, oh, wait, wait, I, I got another better rhyme. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> hey, she is Amy Diaz. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello. How is everyone? Uh, we're doing good. We're doing well. I was going to be like, baby, she is Amy Diaz. Uh, it was also just first she is Diaz. And that you got to get the Amy in there. That's your name. Yeah. Don't wear it out, internet. Uh, Amy, how are you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing good. How I'm glad to be here. Yes. Amy has heard 10 episodes of this, and I realized the first 10... Oh, no, that's the MC Deep one is number nine. So you've you've gotten some craziness in there. I have. Okay. I'm and still waiting to see if... Uh, are those gloves or are those hands? I'm still waiting. Ooh. Uh, be ready. <laughs> for possible disappointment. <laughs> Spoiler alert. I uh, won't tell you. Good. <laughs> Except dis b be prepared to be disappointed. But we're glad you're here. We. Uh, it's good that a fan is here because, Nicole, we are finally announcing it. Start talking. We Nicole. are? Yeah. What are we announcing? We tested positive for the coronavirus. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We didn't. That's not an announcement. Uh, I mean. That's a denouncement. Except you shouldn't denounce anyone who has corona. It's fine if they have it. You said it, not me. What? That it's a denouncement? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, Nicole, she's all about goofs and giggles, but that's what we're giving you more of. Guys, April 3rd, going live. Patreon.com forward slash MLM pod. What does that mean is what Amy Diaz's eyes is saying right now? <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> okay. But okay. So Amy, act as a fan right now as I like introduce things. So I say uh, Patreon.com forward slash MLM pod. Whoa. What does that mean? Oh, uh, <laughs> we're going to tell you what it means. Fucking perfect. <laughs> $5 a month. Okay, well, maybe, but also, like, also be yourself, because we do want, like, real feedback yeah. for this. <laughs> I'm just uh, waiting to find out more information. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, and that's a good thing. You're waiting. Just like the audience is right now. Uh-huh. $5 a month gets you four episodes each month of exclusive to Patreon podcasts. Exclusives like what? 
Oh, well, you about to find out. Every single Friday, starting with April 3rd. It's not a fool's joke, you better believe. We didn't want to, uh, I intentionally wanted to introduce it now so people didn't think it was a joke. Yeah. Nicole's podcast, which is called... What's up? Engaged with Nicolas Cage. We're watching through every single Nicolas Cage movie. Which one's your first one? The first one we watch, starting on April 3rd, Valley Girl. Yeah. And this is Nicole. She's spearheading this podcast. I'm a, I'm not even a co-host. I'm just a lonely guest every episode. <laughs> yeah. She's screaming, don't tell me what to do. And then I have to say, uh, I'm, this is an editing question. I need to know what to do because I'm still, I, you should edit it. Nope. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I said I would pay you to edit it. Whoa. No. The thing is, the audience will be paying for it to be edited. That $5 a month, guys. Uh, we're not even going to, maybe someday we'll get it more tiers, but we just want it plain and simple. We'll have like a tier $1. You get all the stuff and then $5. I mean, all the stuff meaning posts, but you don't get those podcasts. So you don't get all this stuff. Not all this stuff. <laughs> You just get access to the Patreon and maybe to some comments and polls to let us know what you want next. That'll be what it is. But let's just focus on that five dollar. Then we got b b b b b bonus episodes of what? We got b b b b bonus episodes of what? I don't know. Mostly speaking Sentai, where Nicole, that's again, she's spearheading it. What are you doing? It's not mostly speaking Sentai. It's the Toku Reading Corner. Oh, are you making up a new graphic for this? Uh, no. <laughs> so it is mostly <laughs> no, speaking like I'm Sentai gonna, presents. No, like I'm going to take out just out of the word bubble. Oh, okay. So it's mostly speaking and maybe percents. add like books or something. Oh man, what's like your make favorite us book? Books. What is your favorite book, Nicole? I don't have a favorite book. Oh, mine's a hellbound heart because uh, Uncle gets what? fresh with his knees. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's it's Hellraiser. That's the cool, plot cool, of cool, Hellraiser, cool. the first one, Amy Diaz. Have you seen it? I have not seen it. It's a. I think it might actually be more creepy in the book than it is. Is it her brother? No, it can't be her brother. Oh, forget yeah, about brother. it. Oh, wait, it is? Yeah. In the book? Not- no, in the movie. No, in the movie, it's her uncle. Oh, okay. Uh, come Are here. You sure? Uncle Frank hasn't seen you in a long, Kirsty, in a long okay. time. I had a friend who his sister's name was Kirsty, and oh, no. I would oh, constantly no. ask his mom, I'd be like, you just love Hellraiser, don't you? Just so much that you had to name your daughter after the main character. And she's like, I have seen Hellraiser, James, but I did not name my daughter <laughs> after the main character of that series. Okay, I thought you were going to say that you just like say that line to her a lot. Oh, no, no, no. That'd be weird. That's not any weirder than you've already done, but guys, <laughs> we, we've got... An even bigger announcement. This is the biggest podcast announcement I have ever made. Because, uh, whoa, there's two weeks we've already explained out of the month is engaged with Nicolas Cage, spearheaded by Nicole. The Toku Reading Corner, where Nicole is reading fan fiction. Did we explain that? No, Uh, no, no. We did not. It's Nicole (laughs) reading fan fiction. And me doing some of the nice little tunes underneath. That's just two weeks. What's going to fill the other two? Well... For now, it'll end up becoming once a month once we find another podcast to throw in the month. But every other week, James, one man podcast talking about Beyblade. I'm so excited. Yes. (laughs) That's what the see. Amy speaks as the fans. I'm so excited. And then every time I record, that gets put up in the closet that I'm recording, the Beyblade Clubhouse, no co-hosts allowed, because they were mean to me. And you better believe I'm petty about it as hell. And oh, one quick thing, it is very outlined. It is not a maniac mess if you are afraid of that. It's me. I'm watching every single episode of the first series of Beyblade. 
It's real bad. Funny story. What's up? I grew up a little bit in Puerto Rico. And in Puerto Rico, nobody cared about Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Nobody <laughs> cared about Magic the Gathering. But everyone had Beyblades. Yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> like, the kid, the cool kids had the cool Beyblades. And oh, we just let no. it rip in the streets <laughs> every day. Yeah. Then you're you're going. This show is for you. It also is for the fans. I say one man podcast, but it is a one community podcast where I won't be banking episodes. I will release an episode, ask you guys questions, and then I'll read them off in the next episode. It'll be a constant conversation between me, the host, and you, the fans, aka the hosts. But the co-host that I'm seeing right now, and then I'm thinking, oh, Corwin. TC and Nisa and um, for the most part hit it and crit it, but they were just mild about it. They weren't mean about it, but that is still uh, when World War II was happening and people were like, I'm neutral. Well, guess what? Neutral people are still villains in the textbook size. Okay, that's so you're equating. Yes. Talking about Beyblade. No, hit it and crit it. To Nazis. No. To uh, world, no, sorry, technically, to World War II. Technically, I am equating Nicole, Anissa, Corwin, and TC to the Axises, and then I'm equating like hit it and credit to I guess Uruguay. Were they neutral? Sweden? Sweden, Sweden was probably neutral, but they seem like they got occupied. And then your boy over here and the listeners, red, white, and blue America, red blooded. Uh, that's what I'm th- I, in this scenario, in this allegory, uh, metaphor. Uh, Cole over here. Uh, wait, no, I, I'll just stop with that <laughs> allegory. Or not allegory, metaphor, mm-hmm. simile. Axises. Yeah, babies. How, where are we at? Oh, man, we're already 22 into this, but yes, a lot of that dude. gets edited down. So, guys, April 3rd, <laughs> get ready. Patreon.com forward slash MLM pod, and that's it. Bye-bye. Get out of here, Patreon, for now. You're like, you're like... Uh, you're like, oh, no, I'm into my quarantine. I'm going to catch up with all the podcasts. Nope, because you got more babies. Bam, 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 as the kids say. Yeah. But Amy Diaz. Yes. One, what do you think of the whole thing? I'm excited, honestly. Um, I am not Patreon to anybody else, but I definitely want to be Patreons to you guys because I honestly found you guys like two months ago and I've been listening to you guys nonstop. Chia! <laughs> Uh, is a five dollars an okay price point? I think so. I can okay. definitely afford five dollars, and I'm the brokest of the broke. All right, we're we're gonna be better than oh. what's the number one Patreon right now? It's probably oh. Last House on the left. I feel like get out of here. We're coming for you. <laughs> if anything, ya. it would be like Nadpod. <laughs> no, no, Nadpod is number six out of patrons. Okay. I may, I think it might be like Chapo House. Chapo Trap House, is that what it's called? I do not know. Or Come Town, that's a real oh, okay. thing. Yeah, their their fans are mean though. They're Who's mean to fans. Come Town fans. They're mean to Hollywood Handbook fans, I think. You think? Yeah, that that seems to be the consensus on on Reddit. Okay. They mean. Please don't be mean to us, Come Town. Yeah, because they're listening to our podcast. Oh, please, Come Town fans, listen, come over. You're already on Patreon with Come Town. Go over to MLM. How are uh, they going to hear this if they're not listening to it? They are. I'm lost. You've made this half baked bit. And you can also <laughs> punch in whenever. No, that's fine. <laughs> but speaking of. What is your experience, your knowledge, your past life with either Power Rangers or Super Sentai? So I actually never heard of the Sentai series until I listened to your guys' podcast. Um, But before that, I grew up watching like some Power Rangers from the early 2000s. Um, But it was only like two or three episodes. And I'm like, this is boring and turned on Voltron, which is the exact same thing. Yeah. (laughs) So I have no idea what seven year old or four year old me was thinking at the time. Uh, Can I ask? You don't need to answer. How old are you? I am 23. Okay. Okay. 23, 23. Uh, so I was just gauging like when you came of age, what Power Rangers would have been out? When I was a teenager, the Power Rangers that was out was mostly just like that one movie. And that was pretty much it. Growing up, 
I watched Teen Titans mostly and uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's it. Oh, man. Do, have you ever seen the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series that's live action? I saw an episode of it and I cried myself to sleep. <laughs> yeah, it's real. Not even because it's frightening bad. It's just a bad show. I At the time, I was just like, why is that turtle wrinkly? <laughs> uh, people want us to do that for bonus episodes. And I'm like, no. Oh, no. It's just not good. Los Luchadores is actually, it's bad, but it's so far bad that it's good in a sense. Nicole's looking at me like, uh, no. <laughs> Have you listened to any of our Lost Luchadoras episodes yet? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. I'm getting there. I keep You guys keep teasing it on the podcast that I have listened to. Ooh. So I'm getting there. I'm getting close. What do you think of MC Deep? I don't think I listened to that one yet. Uh, he's our friend Tyler? Yes, yes. Okay. He is hilarious. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> Tyler, guess what? He's not listening because he's like, you're doing so well. And I'm like, oh, what you, What do you think of the products? And he's like, uh. James, I'm- you can't expect everyone to listen to your podcast. If Tyler put out a podcast, I would listen to it. And he's, uh, it's a double trouble. Nicole and me. Yeah. He should say, yes, please. <laughs> yeah, dude. Tyler Wright's going to get on the Patreon, but never listen to anything. I'm fine with that. Yeah, guys, give us that money. <laughs> Specifically to family members and old and, and friends back home, please give us your money. To the listeners of this podcast. Give us those listens. Yeah. And then if you want to go on the Patreon, please do. Uh, what else? So what, after watching today, what do you think of Super Sentai Car Ranger? Honestly, I was expecting more of a detailed plot. And then I was like, oh, no, just friendship. Okay, cool. I <laughs> <Yeah>. really... <laughs> I really enjoyed it, honestly. I was not expecting much, but I... What was his name? The Red Ranger? Kyosuke. Kyosuke. Kyosuke got some energy to him. I, it's, it's In usu- this episode. Yes. In this episode, which, speaking of, I did not write down the name of the episode, so Nicole Vamp, well, I find that. Man, I usually always write it down, but then you already have it written down, so I didn't write it down, and now you got to look it up. I think it was Wrong Turn Run. Oh, guess what? Two out of three of the words, but one of them is, uh, could be a uh, synonym. We watched episode 32 of Car Ranger entitled RV Robo's Wrong Way Run. But a quick synopsis. I'm no longer doing episode summaries for the time being, guys. I'm very exhausted. When VRV Master plays Captain Obvious and names Kyosuke leader of the Car Ranger, our red racer acts like your friend and co-worker who just got promoted to team lead, a.k.a. a glorified minimum wage slave, but in the end redeems his fuckboy behavior by cold cocking Nickelodeon's Olmec square in his very square face, Car Ranger. Uh, that that's just the quick little synopsis to get your friggin' tonsils wet. Cool. So guys, we yeah. I I wrote down the scene. So if if we want to try this out, maybe, or we can just go ham on anything and just start reading off notes. But our first scene, we're in the garage, and this uh-huh. is where Kiyosuke finds that tape after looking for VRV Master. And he sees Dapu sleeping like a beautiful babe. And he says, whoa, what's this VHS of? And then he puts it in the VHS There's player. There's like, it's so weird. There's no note on it at all. Oh, because the it's that's the note. Yeah, but it would be like, even the, the hey, tape like, itself watch is empty. This. <laughs> okay, let's put this in our world. If you got home and you, let's picture our table never has anything on it. And then you say, hey, James, James. And then you look at the table and then there's a DVD on there that's just blank. You'd be like, uh, I guess I should watch this. Mm-hmm. Uh, OK, l- let's rephrase that. You're you're like, where is James? He should be home by now. OK, maybe this DVD is something I should be watching because uh, like this isn't normally you wouldn't just be like oh i'm going to watch this thing that james put here like if you're if i came home and your computer was on oh yes and it had something ready to play then yeah i would probably press play and listen okay. to it yes i'm very stupid i would have been like what's this doing here and throw it out <laughs> oh no and then just continue to wonder for the rest of That's my life what, what I'm happens saying is there should have been a note on it uh, they're an intuitive bunch anyway also, um, why does Dapu look like E.T. and Yoda? 
like mixed together. I think he looks like Michael Jordan, a.k.a. the greatest basketball player of all time. I'm kidding. I have no opinion. And Baby Sinclair. That's what I think he looks like. Because of the outfit? Yeah. yeah the jersey? Which we... Uh, we know that there are Michael Jordan pop figures and there are Baby Sinclair pop figures coming. I'm going to pop off the head of switch Baby that. Sinclair, switch it. And then that would be amazing. He'll look so badass. And I'll say, I finally got my Dapu because there's no Dapu toys. You can go to the pop figure factory and make one. Whoa, I can. Yeah. The pop figure factory where you can make your own pop figures along the assembly line. Like that's one of the things you could do. Uh, where yeah, is this? Yeah, but that's in like I think California, D.C. or ca yeah, California or something. Somewhere far away. Uh, hey, guys, road trip. That Patreon. A uh, uh, goal is if we get up to $50,000 a month. We'll go to the pop We're factory. road trip, see how many different strains of the flu we can catch on the way there. Well, I mean, 50,000 will take us uh, uh, on my current rate of growth with like fans. We'll start out with about 60 and then it'll go down to about 40 and then stay there. And I'm talking about single people, not 40,000. So it'll take us a very, very long time to get to 50 grand. If you guys do that road trip where you see how many flus, flus you can get, mm -hmm. you need to call it the plague parade or I swear to God. <laughs> oh, man. We might get <laughs> sued it. by uh, old Gerard Way over there. Oh, no, that's yeah, the yeah. black parade. Hey, he's very litigious. Is he, though? No, I don't know. Oh, okay. How I, I don't even I know any say, of his songs. I, would, I feel like I would have heard something because... He does a lot of comic books these days. Speaking of and songs, I haven't heard anything. What's up? You're on on the newest video you put up. It's gonna be a lot gonna be inaccurate when this comes out. But in the Devil May Cry, you guys butchered so many songs at once. <laughs> oh yeah, and we, I wanted I was... to take a pencil to my eardrum. <laughs> oh yeah, it, we were trying to do Fallout Boy, right? Yes. And okay. Rudy said, "Is that the one band that?" Did the song "You're um, You're Gonna Go Far, Kid," which is the Offspring's, I, which is a completely know. different band. But I knew Uma. I think Therna. I was like in the other room saying it's Fallout Boy, but they had headphones on, so they could not hear me. Uh, no, you were sleeping then. Oh, okay. Because I tried finding you. That's when I went and got up uh, because I wanted to uh -huh. read you lyrics and see if you could figure out what the lyrics <laughs> were because I didn't know the melody. <laughs> the song was Dance Dance, and you got the melody right at the beginning, but then oh. you tried to add some rap melody to it and it just butchered the entire thing it's like dance dance when you're going it down don't you hear it <laughs> flash dance yeah 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 a bullet no it, it kind it dance dance we're falling apart at halftime dance okay. dance but what's this what's the bullet song i'm thinking that's fallout boy right yeah catch yeah. chop then you pull but that's it sugar we're going down swinging yeah okay I don't know these things. I know <laughs> Hawthorne Heights. They have that song where they're screaming. Sure. And, oh, man, you can't forget Blink-182. They got that song about eating chili dogs, uh -huh. I think. No. Yeah. I ate the Christmas Eve with the hot dogs and already presents. It's not. It's hot dogs. It's not chili dogs. Oh, and they don't eat it. It's like their grandpa. Or I'm sorry. I was thinking of the Sonic parody. Oh, okay. Where yep, Ben yep, yep, Schwartz yep, 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 is singing yep, yep, yep. the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah wrapping coins that makes sense and eating chili dogs yeah you watch why sonic would you yet? wrap coins which sonic uh, the, the movie no not yet oh not my yet. you gotta see it it'll be on <laughs> vod soon i literally live under a rock patrick star over here oh! do you know who your parents are most days okay because patrick star doesn't no, Patrick Starr knows his parents. Uh-uh, remember that episode where his parents came and he thought those were his parents, but they really weren't? They don't even have a kid? Yeah, but, but at the end, the, his parents actually do show up. Yeah. I know. But also, you said you don't like SpongeBob, I thought, and never seen it. Oh. No, I said I have seen it. I don't like it. Oh, man. Defend oh. yourself. My sister was obsessed with it and played that 24-7 okay, yep. seven for seven and a half months straight. Yeah, that makes so sense. So I went in liking it, and then I left like, if I see another episode, I will burn myself. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's Nicole with the Crazy Frog. It's like, how could you hate that? I'm Crazy kidding. Crazy Frog that's, is amazing. It's very hateable. But if you if you fired up the internet in two thousand, no, that's like 
80s music. Oh, yeah, yeah. Before I worked at Chicago Comics. And I will always <laughs> love you. And now you hate it? Yes. Okay. That, yes. It's the same thing. I We've said it like eight times. I didn't think I need to. Crazy Frog was the reiterate. birth of dubstep, though. You got to appreciate. It's like bring ding, 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 ba, ba. Mm-hmm. But then you make those bars growl, so it's like, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> that's crazy, frog. No. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'll put some growls on there. Uh, speaking of dubstep, oh, listen to Engage with Nicolas Cage. The theme song is dubstep. Oh, okay. I was like, how is that related <laughs> at all? The, the song is good, but I, I'm i not confident in the mixing. I've never mixed a dubstep song, but I made one. You did it. Hooray, Vale Simo. Okay, oh, so man. the VHS has what's his face on it saying, hey, guys, I'm, I left. The sun sets too bright. Oh, but he has visors on. It's crazy. It's too bright. That's like me. I used to have transitions and now the it's way too bright outside. Do their visors actually like, are they actual visors or is it something to protect their identity? Uh, both? both. Jinx. Oh my God, I love you. Ugh. Wow, you hate my love that much. What, what What's it going to be like when we get married, guys? Listen to Engaged with Nicolas Cage to find out. <laughs> but then we get the Bozak and guess what? Gynamo's back. Richie Hiker out. Capuzzo's. Which I, I thought he was there for much longer, but I guess not. And Zonetta just falls to the ground and is like, I can't live without the cucumber kimchi from that restaurant. And I want to ask you guys, what is your favorite dish? Not the best dish, your favorite dish in town at a restaurant. Does it have to be Chinese food or Korean food? Oh, no, or no, no, any Japanese dish. Food? I mean, mine was... To get the scrambled egg thingy at Clark's with pancakes, but they closed. And what what kind of cheese would you get on that? Cheddar, baby. Okay, I thought you'd also get Munster. Maybe. Okay, I remember a Munster on there. Okay. I would get that omelet with feta. Oh, Valesimo. It's really good. My go-to um, if for breakfast is actually crepes. Oh, from where? Um, there's a place called Cozy Corner, and I love their Nutella strawberry crepes. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. yeah. It's it's three crepes, and they stuff it to the brim with strawberries, drizzle Nutella on top, and then slice bananas on top as well. Nice. It's delicious. My uh, MC Deep, Tyler, uh, once invited us all over for crepes, and mm-hmm. he's like, I'm going to make crepes, but then I think his dad ended up making all the crepes and then tyler and i annoyed him by laughing at that i sat on it yeah bit that escalated to i fingered my cat yeah and uh that's a story for another I day i was gonna say that's cute until you did that <laughs> so it's no longer cute i was like oh that seems like a nice family interaction <laughs> yeah it's not my favorite dish <sighs> is Uh Uh-huh. The guy knows my order at a specific Thai restaurant. I won't say it because it will, if any of this movie's gay fans listen, they'll be able to narrow down where we live. That's a challenge I gave them many episodes ago. I will call this person and I'll say, hey, I'm ordering for takeout. And then I'll say, oh, Scooter Kid. And I'll say, yes, that's me. And he's he'll say, oh, the yellow curry fried rice with tofu. And I say, you know it. And he say, then he'll say, would you like it mild or medium today? And I'm like, my ulcers aren't doing too bad, so let's go medium. And then he has the order ready for me. That sounds so good right now. I know. Oh, man. I can't wait for the summer. There's a park near my house that has food trucks that are completely Ooh. unlicensed. I know for a fact none of them have licenses. Yeah. <laughs> but um, they sell the best acapuria. I don't know if you guys are. Mm-mm. It's it's basically smashed plantains that they fill with like meat and cheese and potatoes and then they close up the plantain and deep fry the whole thing and it's a giant like a ball the shape of my fist that's just like full of food now if they throw that into a restaurant i'll eat it there's a there's a restaurant opposed to food trucks 
There is a restaurant. The Puerto Rican restaurants do have them in the area, okay. but the food trucks just they taste better there. And it's not for any like, oh, I don't think they're. I think their food's unsanitary. I don't like eating outside, and that's where a food truck is. <laughs> yeah, that that makes sense. They Fact. don't have. I, I need a table to eat at, and I need a fork and a knife and a spoon. James, oh, no. uh, is difficult sometimes. <laughs> I'm not difficult. I'm quirky. <laughs> I won't say the park uh, because you guys will figure out where I live, but it's Ooh. actually close enough to my house to where I can just get the food, go back to my house and eat it at home. And it's still hot. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Nicole. Yeah. I could be so good in Hero Academia. Yeah. I have so many quirks. What's your most nice. powerful quirk? What is no, this is a question for Nicole. What's my what? most power instead of saying annoying? What is my most powerful <laughs> quirk? Barfing for silly reasons. But I haven't barfed in a long time. Like getting a hair in your mouth. Or That's not a silly brushing reason. Brushing your teeth too long. <laughs> it's um, no. It's like brushing my tongue and that, or like the saliva gets built up. And I have a gag reflex, girls. <laughs> Deal with it. That's your strongest quirk. <laughs> is barfing. Okay, I'm like Booger Man. He belches and barfs Ew. at people, I think. I mean, in my hero, they're like you can use that. You can like barf acid cuz there is someone that just sweats acid. I thought it was napalm. No, there is someone that does that too. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's, There's someone who sweats acid and someone who sweats napalm. Well, the person that sweats acid isn't an important character. They're there for like one episode and that's it. Uh, does the napalm guy come later? No, no, the napalm like guy is a main character. One. Do they make fun of the acid guy for having a similar quirk? I think they say like an offhanded comment where okay, the, the napalm guy, Bakugo, he's just like, fuck that guy. <laughs> All right. Or as kid, kid friendly as fuck that guy. Can is I curse kid, on here? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Was, <laughs> yeah. Rem it started out with me talking about uh, porn. Yeah. No, okay. I didn't know where the line was, if there was a line. And, uh, the line is racism and alt-right. Oh, no, there goes my jokes. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Amy Diaz, who'd you vote for in the primary? We, we know it was Mikey Blooms. Don't ask The primaries that. were today. Yeah. I didn't vote today because I was at work all day. Wait, you can. You can get off work for that. It's a mom. I work at a mom and pop shop, so they don't care. That is illegal. <laughs> We're going to arrest this mom and pop. Okay. okay. It's two pops. Oh, it's two pops. Okay. And they're not related. All right. We got two pops that we, uh, they're going to get popped for like, voting fraud. Until like 7 p.m. Yeah. You can... Yeah. I could just go after this. There's a place right by my house. All right. Next to the park. Uh, guys, figure out where this park is and then uh, park what you do. Park your food truck over there. Well, I was going to say a similar to that. Scope out, wait till Amy Diaz is going up to a food truck. Then cut in line. Amy Diaz will say like, oh, this dude just cut me off or do that. And then to be fair, if you cut me in line while I'm trying to get food, it will not be a discussion. I will murder you. <laughs> but what they do is they pay it back. They pay. They'll just say, hey, here's the money. I'm going to pay for them. OK, well, if they pay for me, that's a different story. And we have to start dating. It's just the easiest way to my heart. Okay. <laughs> I, I miss paying for all of Nicole's stuff. Guys, please. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Go to patreon.com. Well, the Patreon won't, like, when I put On it, April 3rd. When I put out a rap CD, which is happening soon, just listen to it. If you have a Spotify premium account, just what, every night you go to sleep, just put it on repeat, put your headphones down in another room, and please... That's the money that I will use for my own <laughs> stuff. The uh, Patreon stuff is not profit until it exceeds expect, like exceeds an exceeded exceeded expectation. It's about time you put out music. I've been waiting for this for a while now. I, I have five CDs. I downloaded every single one. Wait, oh man, what you loving? I I love all of them. Honestly, I haven't been able to like sit down and actually like analyze the lyrics. I have the beats playing while I'm cleaning my house. Okay, and I I just. Because of that, it's just continuously on loop, so I don't know what songs are which ones, but I do love them. Okay, okay. And I still have the CD that I stole from Rudy. <laughs> I, I have another one if you'd like it. Oh, no, I still have that. It's in my- No, but then you- I have it with me, actually. Then you just give it to the other one to Rudy and say, like, hey, I got it now, because I think this one actually might have more songs on it. Or you could just give Rudy another one. All right, Rudy, <laughs> let me know where you're at. I actually think the CD is in my um, backpack right now, because it's in my laptop. 
Oh, man. Is your backpack have jets? Are you Boba the Fett? I wish. Nicole. It would be so much easier than the CTA. Who's your favorite Boba Fett? What? I don't know. Uh-huh. There's only one. <laughs> Django Fett? <laughs> I feel like we should talk about that episode. We oh, watched. yeah, yes. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe. Uh, the, the monster, the Bozak dude, their name is number one kimchi lover. And they're supposed to go steal the kimchi. I don't think they were going to steal it. I legitimately thought that they were just going to be like, oh, let's just go get food. And then the car rangers came out of nowhere and was like, no, he was like, give me your kimchi. I'm going to take it. Oh, he said take it? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Because he did seem very cordial of asking, like finding a child, a human child, which is PJ, and then saying, hey, please find kimchi for me. And then the guy me. told him to go to South Korea. Because he's like, oh, it please, please. It brought out no, a no, fucking no. globe and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Can we discuss that? Why is there a globe at a kimchi place? <laughs> decoration, maybe? Is it like an all-world restaurant? Art? Wait, you said decoration. Yeah. Science? Maybe they have a kid. During the summertime, they do a lot of summer school that and they might sense. need a globe there because the kid geography also they can't afford daycare or they just want the child to uh oh to have their childhood stolen from them by oh, doing work okay and uh, remember the intro yeah that was what 50 minutes ago yeah <laughs> uh, so they they have to have the globe around to show the child fair enough who's the green ranger i didn't Minoru. catch his name he loves to headbutt like everything yeah he did like as soon as uh, as soon as um Kyosuke came out and he was in a daze, he was like, "Hey, hey, what's up?" wasn't responding. He's like, "You know what'll solve this? A head, bud." <laughs> and let the man have some cucumbers. They just want some cucumbers. I've never had kimchi. I haven't either. It's so good. Nicole, let's get it from that bowls place that you don't like. It's just ramen noodles and stir fry and cucumbers. I heard. Cucumbers, yes. If you get cucumber kimchi, yeah. Can I get pineapple kimchi? If you find a place. I don't know. And if it's run by other people. Can I get ham kimchi? If you make it yourself. Uh, Guys, you have to make everything yourself these days. Even toilet paper, I hear. Oh, my God. I have a story for you. Uh, Yes, please. (laughs) So, on Saturday, I went to the grocery store to pick up just eggs because I wanted to eggs and it's bread because i was like screw it i'm making egg sandwich now and uh everything was out yeah all the bread was out yeah all the pasta was out yeah i had to get eggs as someone was wheeling out eggs from the back room because they were restocking in the middle of the day it was so bad and i was in line just with two items just eggs and bread and this lady ran her cart into my backside trying to get me to fall out of line so she can cut oh in front of me. God. What? Uh, yeah. And I turned around because I was like, what the hell? Because I thought it was an accident. I was like, oh, shoot, my bad. Yeah. Like, am I on the way? And she just l- gave me a dirty look. And I was like, lady, I have two items. Can you not? Yeah, what? But it was the line was around the whole store. Oh, like geez. it started off by the cashiers and it went to the eggs. Then it went to the juices. Then it went to the meats. Then it went to produce. Like It wrapped around the whole store. That's like Black Friday okay. stuff. It was bad. And no one, no, nothing near my house has toilet paper. Oh yeah, we're, we st- we're nervous that we might run out. I have some, luckily. I will smuggle you guys toilet paper. <laughs> I was just thinking about like going to a McDonald's, going to their bathroom and just taking some, putting it in my pocket. Funny story. <laughs> my sister works my sister works at Old Navy and someone stole toilet paper from the bathroom yeah yeah we go to mariano's and i think it would be one of the funniest things if right now normally i think these people are terrible people but there are have been and it would just be very funny right now with everything going around just those people with wine just walking around doing their grocery shopping. If there was someone drinking wine right now, well, just panic is going around them. I'd say you are so out of touch or you are the most in touch person ever. The This is fine, dog. But as a wine drinker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Have you ever read the entire comic? It's so sad. Uh, I don't remember. Check it out on Tumblr dot um, or uh, I'm fine dog dot Tumblr dot com. 
they made another comic recently where it's the same premise. He's like, I'm fine, but the house isn't on fire. The last panel is him coughing. Oh, geez. Oh. That's real sad. It it I it makes me so sad, but it was so funny. I had to <laughs> spread it <laughs> like the virus. Uh, someone should cut the I'm fine. And then like the next panel is like whoever is hosting the Oscars and it says in memoriam. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole's face right now is just got it. It was like, oh no, he did. Oh. He wasn't fine. Oh no. I'm going to I'm going to make that up. No. Yeah, why not? Oh, um in the show there was a uh when they were fighting, the G- Car Rangers did a spin kick to defeat the bad guys. That was later on reference in Voltron. In the newest Voltron on Netflix, one of the characters is like, "Guys, let's do the spin kick." And they're like, "You won't be able to land it." But that was that was reference back to Car Ranger and I didn't know that until I, today. I think there's there's a lot of spin kicks. I don't think that's a specific yeah, Car I don't Ranger. I know that it would The reason why I say it was reference because it was yeah. the exact same movements. Okay. Like it was kind oh, of Okay, right. Yeah. Cut from cut, yeah. That would be it odd if they're like let's reference sentai which sentai car ranger (laughs) why not car rangers dope let me see any of my starred notes batteries equal bombs this is something that happened the bozak took rv robo and then put the battery on but they said hey you can't like hurt us because this battery is also a bomb that's in real life too you can make bombs out of every anything and everything What's the what's the best improvised explosive you've ever made, Nicole? Ooh, toilet paper. Okay. I mean, soup. <laughs> oh, nice. That's a ah, reference to. Back. Okay. Uh, no, I've never made a bomb. You've what? never made You're a bomb. Insane. Have you? I was gonna say the Samsung phones. Oh, that okay. Ex- that were exploding when they first produced them. Which is from batteries, isn't it? Yeah. It yeah. So batteries is bomb. <sighs> you take some the works toilet bowl cleaner. You put Stop. that in. Don't. Uh, th- th- it's fine. It's not like we're saying anarchist cookbook, anarchist cookbook, anarchist Stop. cookbook. Oh, FBI, come rain upon me. Uh, I saw that book somewhere. I thought like you couldn't buy it. Uh, there are some Barnes and Nobles that uh, they would carry that. But I once asked when I was in high school, Barnes and Noble went there. We're from a very uh, Christian heavy area of Michigan. I go in, I say, hey, do you carry or could you order for me the Satanic Bible? And this older woman said, no. And I'm like, okay, (laughs) thank you for your assistance and just left. But the works, you put that into a one liter bottle of pop. And then you put disclaimer, please don't make bombs. Yeah, please don't do this. Uh, Unless you're like in the forest and you're you're of a mature age and under supervision. Double down on the supervision and maturity. You put, well, first you should put the tinfoil in and then you put the works toilet bowl cleaner in. Then you tie it up, you throw it as far as you can, and then it will expand and then blow up. Once, I think it was Terry Ripley, Corey and myself, late at night, we made one of these. And then we threw it in in the road. It was it was midnight. So we were like, there's no cars around. And it it just expanded and it kept expanding. And we we're like, uh, and then we saw headlights coming down. And we we're like, fuck, oh, if this no. explodes near or underneath this car, we are fucked. Car goes over, did not explode. So we're like, what the fuck is wrong with you this? You guys just let. You just didn't do anything? Well, because we didn't want to come up close to it and it explode on us. So what well, we why did. why would you just run in front of the car to make them stop? They would have scared. And then, well, Terry, oh also predominantly white suburb. And then Terry was black. It, that could have spelled a mess if uh, the three of us ran out. So no, thank you. So what we did was we got like a shovel, went back to our house while two people were watching it got a shovel and like picked it up and then just left it in my backyard till the morning. And then my dad had this thing to like cut down weeds along or to like where grass grows along a sidewalk. It'll grow a weed over. Whacker? No, not a weed whacker. It's the sidewalk. And then where it's grass a, it's is. It's a grass cutter. Uh, that, but no, no, but it wasn't a machine. It was just, he made 
a sharp rectangle of metal, welded it to a pole of metal, okay. and then just stabbed along the side of... Oh, a, 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 she, a scythe. Uh, but no, it all it was is you just push down on it on the edge of the sidewalk and it would cut the excess, the hangover, the bangs of the sidewalk. Yeah, the, it's like the bangs. I, I don't understand how that works, but okay. Uh, so we hit the thing with that and then it just exploded a little bit. In retrospect, you know how Mountain Dew has like those thicker plastic bottles? Plastic bottles? That's what we use and that's where we went wrong. Uh-huh. But all the other ones we made exploded the fudge. And to the point where the Dollar General, where we would buy it, stopped selling to minors the uh, toilet bowl cleaner because they yeah. knew what we were doing. Good. Making bombs. Fucking teenagers. Speaking of bombs, this episode has my favorite scene of a uh, Car Ranger, which is when Kiyosuke jumps out of the new, the VR machine mech. Yeah. And then goes into VRV Robo and just starts slicing down people. That's my favorite scene. But it's not that seamless, though. He like, he's like, I'll see you later. And then they're like, uh, how do we pilot this? And then they're getting beat the shit out of. And then he's like driving a car towards them. And I'm like, how did how he, did he yeah. get there? The car flies. In the first place. And then... And why? And okay. Kyosuke did a really good job and a really bad job <laughs> yeah, at being a leader because he was kicking ass and taking names, but he also was like leaving his teammates to die. That's what Car Ranger is. They are a very good Sentai team, but also a very terrible Sentai team. It's great. It is. I think the coolest scene was both of the robots fighting when it was dark oh yes nice that was cool or no not both of the robots it was the robot and the kimchi guy it's a night stage just like in monster rancher hop about it was cool and i love that it didn't go from just day to night there was like a sunset scene in yeah. between yeah i think that's why i like that scene because it is the sunset you're getting a new lighting that you're not used to seeing in sentai uh huh. So aesthetically, it's it's aesthetically. I apologize uh -huh. for saying that word wrong. It's just great. It, it was great. I'm gonna definitely watch the rest of Car Ranger. Oh yeah, everyone says it. But if you follow through, you'll be number one guest material. <laughs> I will. I will send you screenshots of every single episode as I watch it. <laughs> and you can watch it for free on Tubi TV. Yes, I am gonna go to that after this. Uh, the Wumpers are very dirty in this, uh -huh. and they look like they're covered in ink. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but may I don't know if they're going that far because it could be ink, but it could just be sweaty dirt. It, yeah, yeah, it looked like dirt to me. And then I wrote down, if I were to act like Kiyosuke is being the leader of the Red Racers, but as the leader of MLM Pod, yeah, would that be annoying? I mean, you kind of already do. I'm like, promote your stuff, please. If yeah. that were the case, you'd probably do the one mad podcast, but then like leave the editing for everyone else to do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so sometimes I really wish I would. I'd say like, hey, you guys think? I, I guess like hit it and crit it. Y you've listened to all hit it and crit it, unfortunately. So uh, from like episode three to eighteen, those ones weren't edited. So if yeah. you if you like listen back, you'll except there was once where it took them to do like basic math like two and a half minutes. And I was like, that I will edit out. But uh, during that time, it's taking like five plus hours to edit one episode. But then once I came on, I was like, well, I'm not, I want this to be like a very tight product if I'm putting my name on it. So I'm editing these now. And you sh might be able to hear a difference. I do hear a difference between yeah. the two. But I will say I missed dice sounds. The, the dice sounds are still, s I don't edit those out. Okay. It, unless, like, it's a big roundup. Like, if someone's, like, in the mic going, shh, 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 roll those, because, like, if it's more than a second of not talking, I cut it in half. Yeah. I crossfade it. Also, oh, a big thing is the table now has this mat on it. That's probably what it is, yeah. yeah. So yeah. It, it's not a, a hard table anymore. Except me, I record over in the corner. In when it's corner? a yeah 
Because uh, there's too much mic bleed and it's trying to fit five people around this small table. Yeah, that is fair. Tables are expensive. And then Corey forgets about me so I can do whatever the hell I want. (laughs) I think it's kind of messed up that... So, because there's a bomb on the front, they're worried that the bomb is going to like explode and ruin the robot but i'm like what about all the fucking buildings and the, the city people you're everywhere guys in. that's what i was thinking at first when he like shot it off because i i was writing notes and i was like it's still gonna explode in the city but then it's a small explosion i'm like oh they must have just been worried about the robot yeah if it was a small explosion though like that explosion seemed like nothing it was mostly snow smoke i would have just shot it and let it explode anyway. But you wouldn't know that until it went off. Yeah. And maybe because Dapu is sleeping, they're like, Dapu normally fixes all of this stuff. Oh, so we okay. can't, we have to use resource management. And speaking of Dapu, how old do you think he is? You saw him just a little bit and he was sleeping mainly. He looks like he's two months old. <laughs> he is a very smooth boy. I actually wrote my notes. He looks like E.T. but very moisturized. Oh, nice. Yeah, yes. Uh, he looks like he's two, but I guarantee, I, based on how these things go, he's probably like 7,000 years old. We don't know. No one knows? No, we have we just asked people that. How old do you think Tapu is? He looks two months. And the fact that he's telling people how to cross the street just proves that. We should just like take the average of everyone's guess and that will be how old he is. Yeah, guys. Uh, re-listen back for us because it's not like we ask it at the same exact time every episode. <laughs> so you just have to let us know. This guest said this and then we'll average. Or should we do the mean instead of the the median sure all right i think the mean is just the is when you write all of them down and whatever number is just in the middle yeah, okay yes that's yeah guys we got it i i think we're we're nearing the end do you have any uh, critical notes to talk about no not really red Ra- red ranger was on fire but he needs to like be a better leader uh, he uh, he's up and down it's a parody season so it's like you can't really it's great. ask i much. love it i love it a lot it's amazing <laughs> yes Guys, that's a win in my book. So you didn't really see a lot of it because Dapu is sleeping, but they get their their powers from car magic. It's not that necessarily that they have the powers of cars. It's just constellations in the stars that look like cars and they get their powers from car magic. If you had magic derived from something, what would it be? And then like, what would one of your like your special move be? Mine was dead bug magic because there's so many in the world. And then Nicole's was ass magic. Ooh, I like water magic. Water magic. Water. There's so much water in the world. The world That's is a good one. Two thirds water. It is. It is two thirds water. I would have. I would be so powerful. And I think I would use my powers to. Save the environments, help with droughts and floods. And then like, what would one of your like special powers be? I would say, you know, I want the ability to drain water from plants. Oh, like a blight. Yeah. I just burped a uh, blight. Yeah. So like I touch a tree and then all the water comes from it and the tree turns to ash or something like that. Can oh. you do that to people? If I so choose. Okay. Oh man, you could jerky so quickly. <laughs> dehydrate fruit <laughs> yeah skip saving the world <laughs> capitalism baby it depends on what part of the world i'm in if if i'm if blah, 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 blah. capitalistic russia or communistic russia i would dry fruits in america i would i would sell the dried fruits okay okay and then so the car ranger have their changers on their wrists where i don't know if they it was very front facing i thought they were all holding pens oh yeah so they're they're <laughs> a key. yeah they're yeah. keys that they lock okay. in and then rev ram ram what would your changer look like like mine was a fly swatter i hit the bug on there and then it oozes out and then cocoons me in that nicole i don't remember what ass magic was no idea. <laughs> i think it was like it toots and then <laughs> no, the fog you poo i no, think it uh, that's gross you poke the butt <laughs> It was like underwear or something. Okay, maybe. I would have a seashell. I would smack a seashell or like insert a seashell into another one. Oh, it could be like 
you know how Sailor Moon transforms? It uh-huh. looks like that, but it's in water. Yeah, it would be like water covers, like water covers me from head to toe, and I just slowly transform. Heck yeah, we done did good. Hells yeah, baby. Done did it. Amy, thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's oh, been a blast. We ask this to all fans who come on the show. Why do you like this? I like your guys' chemistry. You guys are hilarious. It makes me laugh out loud. It makes me seem like a crazy person on the train. Yes. But also you guys are like so sweet and so nice. You give me a reason to live. Whoa, that's high expectations. Don't disappoint. Responsibility. Oh, man, this is what having a child's like, I think. No, I mean, I was referencing the episode we just watched. Responsibilities. I am the leader. Awareness. (laughs) That's what my, uh, in retrospect, my intro should have been like, awareness. Awareness? (laughs) Awareness awareness four times okay, no don't give away bits that's not even your podcast <laughs> it's not even out yet yeah talking about beyblade uh, what do you do you have anything to plug no all right <laughs> nicole what do you have to plug i am darling homebody on twitter instagram facebook and tumblr and patreon but you can just go straight to patreon.com slash darling homebody for cute stickers every month and darlinghomebody.com for a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, it's spring, so get yourself some seedy skulls. Those are skulls that when you plant them in dirt, they make plants. They're made out of paper and they have seeds in them. Chia! Guys, April 3rd, patreon.com forward slash MLM pod. Oh, Eric, when that goes live, I expect you to be saying it as much as we say (laughs) patreon.com forward slash ranger command PH. Amy does not know that joke yet, but please go to Patreon on April 3rd. We'll be posting it. We'll also be doing live streams galore to promote it. Okay, okay. (laughs) Also... Speaking of live streams, go to YouTube, Mostly Speaking Sentai. I did, with Nicole, a two-hour and 20-minute stream where Amy Diaz was up in it the entire oh, yeah. time. Heck yeah. For Spyro Ripto's Rage 2, I beat the first third of it, wh- whatever, Summer Plains, whatever it's called. Uh, 100%ed that, and I'll be continuing that. We gave relationship advice, like actual We got serious and gave relationship advice. And then we're doing Let's Plays there. Check out MLMPod.com to find out more information about this movie's gay, hit it, and crit it, and what the hell mouth. And then uh, another new podcast, a free one, will be coming out soon with Nick Foster and I. Once we get a couple more banked, we'll have him on. Maybe we'll finally start Bible Man. Whoa. Oh, also, guys, check out the Tokusatsu Network. Tokusatsunetwork.com. We're a proud podcast partner and uh i apologize to them for not starting it up front we had that big old announcement bagel bagel what oh big old okay bagel announcement but guys i've been james i'm nicole and i've been amy and we've been mostly Mostly speaking sentai amy already knew she listens to the show bye bye yeah yeah. (laughs) i'm really excited to be here I, you guys are awesome friends of mine. I feel honored to be asked back. Now, you hated it last time. Yes. <laughs> you hated doing the show, and, um, and you still do. And, when, and we asked about you maybe coming back, and you went, I don't know how to do your show. And I actually thought the first episode was pretty funny. My best friend's dying, and there's nothing I can do. Stress, pain, crying, I ain't fucking in the mood. Depressed in silence while well, I'm cutting up the crew. Cause my best friend's dying and there's nothing I can do But like woeful spawns with Russian rage Fantasize, suicide, a total Sean is such a haze Can't decide who am I, the random plan The son, the man grew inside my ruined dies Selling scans to well and fans Bloop inside my cool demise Letters better meld right Never bust a beat for rent the weather dealt Smites getting pressure constantly Clever effort held tight through leather in a bell strike Never has it felt like somebody is watching me Spitting in the blitz, severing the spirit Getting with the glitz Treasure in appearance, I'm a low tone in the midst Better measure interference so you don't know what this is But you never wanna hear it Uh, I wish more
more people would, instead of just ignoring us when we ask them to come on the show, make us feel cool. I like the way you do and say, like, I don't know how to do it. It's yeah. so... Is that not common? No, usually... It's not common that people say that. I think it's a common feeling that people, like, either have tried to do it or have listened and go, like, I don't know what to do there. I... Or, or the most common, I think, is don't know what it is, don't want to. Nothing more to me, cause the struggle's getting bigger. Muddled in my innards when I fuddle with the trigger. Subtle hidden figures when I'm talking hot guys. Give the double middle finger. Is to the parking lot scots I'm parking shot slots to this 2 to 14 This carbon not stops when I'm doing morphine Disregarding top spots but I'm screwing your queen I've been parking shot slots since I grew from 14 Memorize my lines, set the catatonic crowds And I emphasize the primes while I spat demonic vows Voices breathing on the line, feeling astronomic now So I'm chiefing on the kind, ain't no fatter chronic now, yeah Pass it the stress, staying centered with the whiskey Blasting your neck when I'm peppering some hate Blasting thigh lips with the jest so frisky while well, I'm chatting hot chicks with Esther Provitsky. Well, I think that uh, it's very brave of you to admit that, to admit that you don't know how to do the show and that you don't like doing the show, but mm-hmm. that you do have something to promote. <laughs> I think that so many people pretend now that they do get it and they want to come yes. back or they say, yes, don't know what it is, don't get it, don't like it. Well, uh, can I be clear? I like you guys. Oh. Right. So that's why I'm here. And we I, do so much more than this. You guys are. There's so much more to us. <laughs> you guys are than just. This, show. this isn't like really talking to me. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay. That's very. Nice. We love. You. We love you. Um, I'm tiptoeing over here. I'm no. Terrified. No, we love you. We're in love Be with bold. you. Be <laughs> bold. And Sam, we haven't done this for a while. I think it would be really nice. You love her and you're in love with her. Hey, I just want to let you know I love you and I'm in love with you. Oh, wow. Okay. That really feels nice to hear. Thank feels you more so comfortable. Much. Now um, you're very, very comfortable. Yes. And you don't have to say it back. This has been a Marshland Media production produced by James McCullum. For more content, please visit mlmpod.com. To support our network and have access to exclusive podcasts, head over to patreon.com forward slash MLM pod and sign up today.